All right, well, that's just super duper dumb. In ow, son. All right, guys. I just realized it has been a while, but here's the next recording tip video. I guess you probably realize now they're not in any particular order. I might start doing them in some sort of order from like beginning to end. I don't know, but I'm gonna try. See what goes. See what happens. See what happens. I'm gonna try and see what happens. It's kind of a weird topic, but because there's a lot of different opinions about it, because a lot of people prefer one over the other, or another one, or another one, or another one, or another one, because there are fucking thousands, maybe not thousands, hundreds, maybe? Tens. There's at least tens upon tens upon tens of. Tens upon tens upon tens of these out there, at the least. Possibly over a hundred. Anyway, so everyone's gonna have a different favourite, obviously. There are always the big ones out there that people are debating over, but yeah, this is the video about recording softwares, or DAW's doors, or whatever the fuck you want to call it, if you want to be, be a dick about it. Anyway, this is the video on recording softwares, and how to choose the right one for you. And a lot of factors come into play when, when you want to talk about this, like, again, personal preference, budget, resources, lack of budget. But anyway, let's get back into it. For me, uh, recording a lot of band stuff. I like a very, very basic software. Um, I'll just say now, I'm not gonna name names, because I've actually heard of some people getting in trouble with companies saying this one's best and this one's shit. So I'm not gonna name names, I guess. But I assume you've done a bit of research before. If not, you're gonna do some more research after this. So you'll be able to find out for yourself. But you'll be able to figure out for yourself what one I'm talking about. Like I said, I like basic ones. When I say basic, I mean ones that don't come preloaded with a whole bunch of with a whole bunch of VSTs. These are like virtual something. I know, vir these are like virtual fucking unprepared as hell. This is virtual, stu virtual studio technology, I believe. I don't know, I'm 100% sure. Basically, yeah, virtual versions. So like computerized versions of the Real life stuff, so you know, like a virtual guitar amp instead of actually just miking up your guitar amp, a virtual drum kit instead of miking up a drum kit, and so forth. But yeah, I prefer a basic one without all of these preloaded onto it. It's basically just the recording software and everything I need, but with the ability to upgrade it later. So with the ability to put a bunch of these VSTs on. So like I said, I'll have a bare bones recording, um, bare bones recording software. I need to record some guitars. And I want to make, I want to put some effects on it. I'll look up myself these VSTs and try and find out the best one and put them on myself. Because personally for me, I prefer researching all of these and finding out which one is the best and then getting that rather than just depending on something that may be subpar or, you know, not as good just because it's there. So if you wanted to do something that depended on a lot of electronic noise, synth noise, that sort of stuff. So, you know, like dubstep, uh, rap beat things like that, I don't know, then you may want one that actually has a bunch of these VSTs preloaded onto it and synth softwares loaded onto it already. Because a lot of these, especially a lot of the more expensive recording softwares, will have put a lot of money into creating these, and more than likely it's going to have more than you will ever need. Again, they will have put a lot of money into this, so it will sound quite legit. But again, I'd also like, the, I'd also like to have one that would have the ability to expand later. So if I had a recording software that didn't use VSTs and used its own sort of plug-in software, I would probably avoid that and go for one that has, that is highly recommended, but still has the ability to expand with VSTs relatively hassle-free. Again, not naming names or anything, but if you do your research, you'll know these companies that I'm talking about right now. Okay, honestly, that's kind of all I have to say, to say on the matter. This is, again, a lot of it comes down to personal preference, and for me, do I want a whole bunch of VSTs included on my software, or do I want it to be bare bones and expanded it myself? For me, I want the bare bones, I want to expand it myself, I want to do all the research. If you feel comfortable just using what other companies have, you know, potentially put millions of dollars into, because you know, a lot of these companies will have put a m millions of dollars into this research. Possibly, I can't say that for certain, but... Yeah, they put a lot of money in VSTs to make them sound good. And if you are just comfortable using those, then, you know, go for gold. If you're having a song or a beat that depends heavily on the VSTs, not, you know, guitars, drums, bass, then again, you may want to go for that just because it has an abundance of them on the software itself. All I'm really doing in this video, I'm not telling you what one to go for, to go for this one, this one, this one, this one, or again, the fuck hundreds that might be out there. All I'm sort of trying to give you guys right now is a starting point of where to start looking into these recording softwares, or again, DAWs, because you probably will see that term slung around a lot if you're looking for recording softwares. Well, those are basically the two extremes. Bear in mind, that the bare bones minimum one is probably going to be a lot cheaper 
than the one that comes heavily preloaded with, VS with VST. You know, these guys would have made the recording software and been right, yep, here you go, start doing what you want to do. These guys would have, you know, made the recording software and then done so much, spent so much more money on all this and this and this, and then been right, here you go, guys, and here's this and this and this, and that's what adds on to the price. I think I may have more just tried to explain accounting in this video than recording softwares, maybe? Well, honestly, if you guys, if you just want to come at me with no information and just say, what one should I choose, or and just say, hey, I want to start writing some dubstep, or hey, I want to write a rap beat, or, you know, hey, I just want to record some instruments, or hey, I've got this and I just want to record some vocals, what do you suggest? Then message me and I will try my best to tell you what one would be best suited for your situation because uh, again I've put a lot of research into this well you know I'll, like I said I'll try my best to help you out uh, but again honestly the best thing for you that I can say is just follow these starting points and expand on that but alright guys another short video on my channel but there's not really a hell of a lot that needs explaining on this subject if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos that you'd like me to make, message me and I'll be more than happy to answer, either through message or through an explanation video, if I feel like there are a lot of people that would benefit from this answer. Because I know for me, I'd much rather watch a quick video than read five pages of notes. I guess this is Guy from a Band, signing off.